So YouTube, I decided to take it upon myself since the Windows Developer Preview came out yesterday uh, for Windows 8 that I would make a video of it booting up on uh, one of my laptops. Um, <clears throat> and it's definitely not going to be my 9100 because I love it too much for that. And instead, I'm doing it on this D600 that I happened to pick up in my travels. Um, standard spec, uh, pretty baseline, uh, 1.4 gigahertz Pentium M. Um, it's got a gig of memory. I'm not exactly sure what speed, but I'm guessing DDR266. 60 gig hard drive that I happen to have lying around. Uh, XGA flat panel, uh, mobility Radeon 9000. 32 meg. Nothing special. <clears throat> and I'm missing the caddy for it. Woohoo, where's the caddy? Um, I'm not playing golf. Uh, so, here it is. Uh, everything works on it. Wireless, all that sort of stuff. Outside of Windows 8. So, let's go right ahead and turn it on. There's the Dell logo. And let's escape it, just because I want to get this over with. <coughs> there it is, Windows Developer Preview. Please wait. Boom. That's it. It's back in. It's in. And as you can see, that's the correct date, 12.15 on September 14th, 2011. And in case you have or haven't noticed this already, all you have to do is click and drag up, and there, it's unlocked. Let me go right ahead and put in my password, and from there, log in. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, that was my Game Boy. Oh, well. Thing's a tank anyway. Alright, and here's the Windows Metro UI. Um, for the record, this is using the... Microsoft standard display driver because none of the XPDM or whatever drivers I could find for the mobility Radeon on board uh, want to work. This is also the case on my 9100. I did actually put this drive in my 9100 and tried to install the uh, uh, mobility modded patched uh, Vista drivers for. Uh, its graphics chip, which is a Mobility Radeon 9700. Um, and although this thing has 32 megabytes of graphics memory, if it decides to, nope, I have to actually click it. There's a desktop, I don't give a crap. Okay, boom, here's a desktop. And as you can see when I do this, arrow works. And to completely demonstrate that again, some more, I'm going to go into personalization. I'm going to change the, and if you see there, arrow themes are uh, displayed. And arrow is working. So now I can actually go into window color and I can turn the color intensity all the way down. And look at that. If you can see it right there, I don't know if you can, that is actual Windows Arrow working right there on a 32 meg graphics card without even the hardware accelerated driver. So, something I'm liking with this is that they've optimized it enough for the standard driver that you can actually use the standard driver and have an arrow effect. Now, I'm pretty sure that this will change, possibly, by the time that uh, Windows 8 RTM is out. Uh, this might just be because it's a developer preview, they wanted to make it so that you could do it on uh, a virtual machine without much uh, problems like that and all that stuff. Um, but one of the things I'm not liking is that there's apparently some new driver model or something out that's preventing drivers to be installed. What is this? I guess that's automatic. Okay. 
that's interesting, and it just, oh, there it goes, my trackpad is being a bitch today, whatever, okay, save changes, and I am going to go right ahead and, oh, saw that, that was error at work, and as I am an opera fag, I am going to open up opera next, which opens up pretty quickly. Boom, there we go. I'm going to open up a new tab. And let's go to... Well, first... Google. Boom, there's Google. Uh, horrible garble. See, everything's working fine. Wi-Fi works, everything works fine. What in the hell is that? <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty funny. Okay. Uh, so, that works. Uh, Opera Next is pretty stable on here. No problems. Uh, this is the build with almost full JavaScript support. And you saw that again. That was the arrow working again. Um... I guess my conclusion is that Euro is usable on here, but it's not something that I would want to have install. Like, I w would not. How to word this? My conclusion is it's usable, but the Euro effects on the standard driver are kind of laggy. It seems like it wants to take more uh, processing power to use that. And this being a Pentium M and a Benias at that, uh, it's not really doing so much. It's lagging all over the place. Uh, especially when I press the Windows key to go back into Metro. It does lag a little bit. You can actually see the lag. It's probably not going to show up on the actual video, though, because uh, this is a pretty shitty camera for doing this with, etc., etc. Um... And if I, I can go right ahead and go through here, you can actually see the amount of lagginess there is going between. And oh look, it's all the other stuff that I have as not apps. CCleaner apparently works. Yes, yes. Okay, CCleaner works. Yeah, whatever. So, that aside, it's usable. But shouldn't be used. Uh, the developer preview is meant to be used by developers to make applications as far as something that would have its own app uh, square in Metro and be able to be identified by it. Uh, if it does not have an app square, it's, the, it's a small uh, icon in the bottom left of the app with the name of the app on top. And there's no kind of this design in it or anything, which isn't really good for uh, eye catchability, all that crap, whatever. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, this was made for uh, my buddy Jake, who wanted to see uh, well, Windows 8 on the D600. Uh, he's actually going to be asking me, after seeing this, uh, for one of my other D600 carcasses that I happen to have gotten along with this because his decided to uh, kick the bucket. Uh, so, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, and hopefully in later builds uh, they fix the problem with the XPDM drivers and I'm able to get some decent hardware acceleration on here. Uh, Otherwise, I'm just going to be putting the old hard drive back in this thing, and I'm going to be running uh, Debian Stable all day, every day. Which I really should be doing. And here's the hard drive I do with that. It is a Hitachi Travel Death Star, 80 gigs, and it runs Debian Squeeze uh, Stable with uh, preference from packages uh, from backports. So, that's that.